I'm the champ, I'm the champ. Yeah. I'm the champ, I'm a champion. Yeah, yeah. I'm the champ, I'm the champ. Yeah. I'm the champ, I'm the champion. Yeah, yeah. I'm the champ. Wait, wait, what did you say? Hey, I don't know what you said. The Los Angeles Lakers select. Hey, hey, Corey. I'm drowning out here, man. Help me. Don't be naive, AI. You're not ready. Everybody's waiting for you, so let's get started, please. You held your own with Han Chi. People are starting to take notice. Have a seat. Welcome to the Mad Ant, son. Do you have a social media manager? Because I could be your social media manager. Hey, yo! New guy. Here's what you need to know. The summers. Four seasons with the Bulls, six with the Heat. Yeah, now I'm a mad end. The winners. Does that make sense? I think it doesn't so. really, now that I say it out loud. Mad Ant! It's my team. It's never going to be yours. Suck it up! What you want to hey, do? Oh, come on, man. Get a prize. The girl you're trying to impress here. You heard him. Impress me. You never cared about anyone but yourself, AI. And until you do, this is exactly as far as you'll go. You want to get to the next level? This is what you have to do. Let's see who scores the most points tonight. Look, enough talk. Let's play. You just tried to run before you could crawl. Learn how to crawl. See through the dark, push through the rain, numb to it all, I'm acquainted with the pain. AI, we have one game left this season. The question is, are you up for it? You can't learn it, it's just in you. Piece yeah. of soul. I can make this set fire to social media. Hey, Marcy, you got to read on my lunch? It's a classic 2K. We're all here to have fun! I'm having a great time! Bang! That is the difference between a player and a legend. I know he's going to help you, but you're in my way. What's good YouTube? It's your boy JR back at it again with another NBA 2K19 video. The only thing that I ask if you're new to this video go ahead and hit that sub button for me and then also if you could do me a favor hit that like button for me as well. It really helps me out. So today NBA 2K has finally released some sort of preview of the My Career Mode that's going to be in 2K19. Not very long, didn't really tell a whole lot within the two minute clip, but if you hadn't seen it already, you know, at least you got to see it at the beginning of my video here. So what I took from it here is kind of looks like their career mode is going to be based off of trying to get into the NBA. It looks like you're going to be playing for a team overseas and then I guess the story mode is going to be based on trying to make it to the actual league after set bets. One thing that I saw is it looked like there was no B fresh, which as long as she's not in there, man, that's an improvement all in itself. And it also looks like they have updated the actual my player's name to AI, which again is an improvement from previous names such as Freak or Prez. So, I mean, both of those, I know just that stuff in general was annoying, but I really hope we do not have to watch any type of cutscenes. To me, I mean, I'm not really too worried about my career. I'm, you know... It is what it is. I would really not even have to play my career if I don't have to. The only time I ever did was just to get hot spots or work on badges. But other than that, I was definitely out on it. So, I mean, hopefully this year we don't have to sit through these cutscenes. The story looked pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. Some people were saying that it looked lame because you're actually not in the NBA. So, I just wonder if it's based on playing overseas and then once you get to the NBA, the story's over. But I do know that they had said that they're releasing another trailer i believe it was on thursday will be the next one and they said if i'm not mistaken he had said that there's two my career trailers so i don't know i really hope thursday is going to be based on my park information but i mean i guess we will see so i do apologize if this video is kind of long michael wang aka wong has released some new information regarding 2k19 just answering questions based on tweets and I just wanted to go over that as well as long as well as bringing you uh, my career information too. So just bear with me, um, a lot of this information is important, you may have seen it, you may not, but if not, I'm definitely just going to go ahead and get right into it here. 
So first bit of information here, um, a user on Twitter asked, are we going to really experience fatigue this year? If a player takes on the scoring load early or Tobos a lot, will they be able to sustain that energy throughout the whole game with no penalty? He came back and said, fatigue plays a bigger role in 19. You'll have significant advantage if you pick and choose your spots. Should be noticeably tougher to sprint all game long or ball hog, which is great for me. I just I want to see more ball movement within 2k19 I hate the whole spamming dribbling the whole shot clock just to trigger an ankle break breaker so I mean to me that's good news um, next tweet a guy asked hey Mike just warning if 2k19 is if someone is behind you is it considered as an open shot unless they block you and when someone angles are broken will it also count as an open shot from previous 2k's it would still count as contested and then he said please answer mike responded someone behind you or laying on the floor shouldn't affect you at all so if you guys can recall 2k17 2k18 if you would you know break somebody off or if they were behind you the game would still register it as a contested shot which is really annoying and not realistic at all so hopefully that's fixed as well Another question someone asked, Mike, what is considered over dribbling? And keep in mind, this is a game I think the concept is good, but with the amount of seconds I dribble cause it, will it be my cinema or simply the amount of moves? He replied, it's basically your cinema bar, excessive sprinting and contact drain at fastest, not necessarily the number of moves. You can still string several moves together and pull off nice combos, it's just harder if you're gassed. So again, this kind of reflects just people spam dribbling. Now, dribbling is probably one of the biggest skill gaps in the game. I believe it, you know, of course it takes a lot of skill to get all the moves down. So I like that. I just, I hate seeing someone be able to dribble the whole shot clock and finally trigger an ankle break and get a score off that. I just, I don't know. I don't think that's good at basketball. But I mean, if you can string together four or five moves and then make a move or pass a ball, then I think that's what you need right there so hopefully they balance it out pretty well i was never a dribbler in 2k but hopefully this year i can get better at it so i just want to i want to see you know the same nice you know combos and stuff like that i just don't want to see somebody dribbling the whole shot clock and still being rewarded for it is all i'm trying to say as far as that goes and he also uh, replied again to that tweet i just mentioned he said also, some moves drain cinema faster than others. You can do a lot of standing size ups before you get hit, but repeated step backs and hard launches will knock you down quick. So I'm assuming if you do the step, like a step back and then you um, burst out of it, that would drain your cinema fast and maybe doing like a momentum dribble behind the back. So like that, so that's good to know as well. Uh, someone also asked, so if I have a 94 overall sharp with playmaking secondary and I activate the secondary takeover ability, will I be able to ankle break someone and make them fall? And Mike simply replied with yes. So a sharp primary playmaker secondary was the build that I use primarily on 2k18. And so as we went over before, if you're a 94, it actually activates your secondary takeover skill. So that's a reason to grind and play the game. So I don't know, that could, that's pretty cheesy to know as well. And another important thing, someone asked, uh, hey, just wondering if you made any changes to passing or catch, catch animations in 2K19. I found this year there were a lot of turnovers from easy to make passes and Heaps of the catch animations were slow, awkward, and forced you into weird looking jump shots. He replied with, our, our passing and catching team made a ton of improvements. Catch fumbles are basically gone. Easier to convert long passes to open guys and a new catch collision system to help well positioned defenders combat, combat dump cheese. So this is one of the best things that I've heard so far. I mean, to me, it seemed like if you would pass to an open man, for whatever reason they would fumble the ball or put you it would put you in some kind of weird catch animation i know a lot of times i would catch in the corner and i would have to pause for about two or three seconds before i got my shot off just to avoid any weird animations and then it just seemed like a lot of simple passes would just go out of bounds for no reason like i said I'm a, i was a playmaker in secondary and lobs were just really really hard to complete so i really hope this is true i mean i believe that if you're in good defensive position 
then of course you should get rewarded for that. But if you're just, you know, running down court wide open and someone passes it to you and it just goes flying out of bounds for no reason, I mean, that, I just thought that was kind of stupid animations to have, but he's saying that's fixed, so hopefully that will actually carry over to the game. Someone said, I keep seeing the word should in your post when replying to questions. Could you explain that cho the choice of that particular word as it pertains to the questions asked? I've seen you use it for contested shots from behind in, in this thread so far, thanks. He simply replied with, I like to qualify most things as a dev. If I make definitive statements saying something is 100% fixed, someone will inevitably uncover an edge case that leads to unexpected results. Then they make a video, dig up an old tweet, and call me a liar. Few, th few things are guaranteed in development. So, I guess he just kind of used that word should just to kind of prevent him from making a false statement. Of course, the game is just being released, so there's going to be patches, tweaks, stuff like that that they're going to have to do. So I guess he just wants to kind of cover himself without getting put on blast. Someone asked him, I'm a player that likes an all-around build. Which do you think is closest to that? And he replied with, I would probably go with a two-way. So that's, you know, defender, sharpshooter, defender, slasher. That's what he suggested. Someone, for all you guys that made the play shot this year, I know that was a really popular build and a good build as well. Someone asked, how lethal is a play shot? He replied with, it's my personal favorite. Uh, someone also asked, can you disable the shot meter like in previous 2Ks? I like to learn my jump shot without the uh, meter and he replied with, yes, you can turn it off. So that's perfect for people who don't want to play with the meter. And someone asked for you slashers, what dunk rating do you need for contact animations? He replied with 85, 75 standing and 50 driving for standing contact dunks for bigs. Basically the goal is only is to only have slasher athletic finishers builds able to contact dunk this isn't set in stone though so a lot of people of course from 2k17 and 2k18 would use the animation glitch and then they would of course be able to get the dunk packages and dribbling which kind of really made the game unbalanced so hopefully this year they have completely took that out of the game i personally hope so i believe it kind of hurt the game where we had strict stretch bigs out here being able to do elite dribbles, pro hops, and stuff like that. And then you had playmakers being able to get contact, dunk, contact dunks and stuff like that. So hopefully that's fixed. And then someone asked, what ball control do you need for tier 2 dribbling? And he replied with 70. And he also had an update to the standing to the pro dunk packages. He said... Pro dunk packs unlock at 85, elite contact dunks unlock at 88. So that's kind of like the dribbling tier. You had the tier 3, tier 2, tier 1. 88 will get you the elite contact dunks, 85 will get you the pro contact dunks. So the last bit of information that I have from his Twitter, uh, someone asked, we had the, this was about two hours ago before the my career trailer was released. He said, we had the takeover system being attained by playing your role. And this was a, uh, a, a Twitter user tweet at Mike Wong. He said, but is there a consequence for being cold, not playing your role? For example, negative 10 on attributes. And he basically said, yes, that's how it works. So uh, as you guys know, 2K18, if you constantly turn over the ball, to bad shots, miss shots, etc., you'll get that cold meter. So he's basically saying if that happens on 2K19, then you're going to be losing negative 10 on your attributes so that's important information to know as well this next information is coming from zach Turman, a developer for 2k19 as well in case you didn't know i believe he's primarily a developer that works on centers and power forwards in the game so he came out and said got some new moves in the post to play off the fake spin drive jabs step backs out of hold and live dribble effective because you don't know if it's a spin, spin fake, spin step back. He also said guess before or correctly react after moves with the left stick to increase your chances of success as a post defender. Then he said word it correctly, correctly guess before or during moves to increase your chances of success. So basically he just described some of the moves that are going to be implemented with the post score. 
I feel like that's going to be a really cheesy build as well, especially if you can get and learn the moves down correctly. And he also, from a defender or post defender, he said that in order in order to play good defense, you're going to want to move with the left stick and the way that the post score goes. So that's going to be you know more difficult, especially with all these different moves. But if you're able to get that down, then that's going to make you an elite defender in the post. So that's really all of the 2K19 information that I have. Again, I do apologize for making this video so long. It's just been hard to keep up with everything that's been going on with 2K19. And also, I work a full-time job as well. But I'm definitely trying to bring you guys all the information that I possibly can. Look to see a video on Thursday, either regarding, I'm assuming, my career or even possibly my, my park information which is what i really hope so but as you guys know i would definitely be bringing you all that information i do appreciate any type of support but other than that i'm out peace